once again, I see you just 15 minutes of yours. I'm here once again after Dami, because Maria Vina gave me this nice task of um, talking to you about the value of information of uh, social media <laughs> for the dissemination of uh, TU 1402. Uh, the, the end of this presentation is just to explain for those of you who were not present in Darling, or to refresh for those who were indeed present, which are uh, the benefits of using social media for the dissemination of this action, and why we are making efforts to disseminate the action through the social media. And also I would like to, to give, let's say, since we received almost uh, no contribution for the dissemination of the action through this uh, social media platform, I would like to give you some tips, maybe that can be helpful for you to send us your contribution and help for the dissemination group to effectively, uh, let's say, advertise and disseminate what uh, is being done and uh, we are keeping on doing during this, uh, this action. And now we can engage on different platforms, so like the language we can use to reach out and engage uh, even the general public. And of course I have a call to action for everybody at the end of this presentation. So as you probably know, for sure you all know, and as I remarked in Dublin, traditional media channels work better when uh, we are dealing with the research community, with academics, with the authorities in general, and also the industrial sector and professional. Now when we want to reach and engage the, the general public, for sure these uh, channels of communication doesn't, do not work so, so great. So it's better to focus on the new internet communication vehicles and especially social media platform. Because either we like it or not, most of, I think, all the news, everything happening in this world pass through social media platform. And Facebook is the most used, for example, social media platform all over the world. So it can be a very great tool to disseminate what we are doing in the action and to reach in the society, the citizens in general, beside the academic environment and all the people that are actually dealing with these kind of topics. So um, these are the benefits, I mean, of using the social media platform, and these are why also we decided after Dublin to open a LinkedIn group, for example, and a Facebook page to disseminate our action, because of course this can provide us a near zero cost dissemination strategy where basically no expertise is needed from a technological point of view. So for the web page, it takes time to update all the things, to also upload all the dissemination materials, but whereas here yeah, it's very easy, it's very like a, just an interactive platform where we can communicate even with people that can make questions that are interested uh, in um, getting to know better our topics. And uh, also uh, we can redirect uh, all the user traffic to the action uh, website, which is the main tool also where all the, all the material that is being uh, um, basically uh, produced during the action uh, is uh, being uploaded. And several funding programs, mainly because there are lots of benefits behind, the, 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 behind these tools are seriously encouraging. Uh, even the internet program, I don't know if you know, but it's, they are really encouraging the social media for dissemination purposes. This is our LinkedIn group. Probably, I don't know how many of you are aware that we have a LinkedIn group. So please uh, go look for it uh, and uh, ask to join the group. This is how it looks like. It probably, um, for sure, is new to most of you. And this is how our Facebook page looks like. Um, of course, these are two different communication channels. We are supposed to use uh, a different language or slightly different, we can use it for both of them, but please also for those of you who have a LinkedIn profile or a Facebook profile, go and ask to join the group or like the page. And even if you don't have, it doesn't matter because for the dissemination purpose, what we need is a, your post on the things that you are doing. And then we take care of the publication after, of course, uh, Sebastian's approval for all the, all the posts. Um, so as I said, regardless if you have it or not, Facebook or LinkedIn profile, we are all uh, uh, here for the same purpose. So we want to reach the society, 
the industrial sectors, as the elder has said, but also the society. So we can also, a lot of the things you said about the, the special session, the conference, the workshop, also the video that you were saying, I think it could be very interesting to post it uh, also in the, in the social because can have a very high engagement, especially for those pictures and so on. But also we can increase a lot the visibility of the web page because uh, all the world around on Facebook and on probably also a part of the world on LinkedIn and we can uh, actually drive clicks uh, to, the, uh, to the action uh, web page. And um, of course uh, we can provide and convey information in a more simple way to pass this message of the value of information of structure and monitoring also to people <coughs> that have nothing to do with this topic, but they could be probably interested. So industrial sector as well, it can be a very target audience for this kind of uh, social media, for the cost we are planning to do, and the society in general. So yeah, you are a few tips uh, that can help uh, to maybe make uh, simple posts and uh, so a little effort from all of you can uh, result in a, in a can, can lead to a great result in terms of dissemination. For sure we have to provide uh, valuable information so there is a value also <laughs> behind uh, the post we want to make and uh, we shouldn't disclose everything in the post. It should be very short, simple text and um, we should uh, raise the curiosity of the reader. So we shouldn't disclose everything, we should drive the clicks on the post content. So basically, for example, on the link, it's always better to attach a link to the web page, for example, to a fact sheet where the, the topic is uh, described in a more extensive way, but just like a few sentences to say, okay, for example, about case studies, this could be very interesting, to explain very shortly the case study and why the value, how the values information is applied to them, and then uh, provide a link uh, or even explaining the pictures to images. Uh, I mean, these tools work a lot and they uh, engage a lot to the audience. Videos, photos, link. Uh, if we just write a text so long, uh, I mean, and we start with a boring sentence, nobody is going to, to click on the post and to, and to read the rest. So always a short post without disclosing everything with a link and pictures. Video for sure they take more time, so if we have it better, or if you don't, please at least attach pictures. Then we can balance various types of content, that's for sure. Sometimes we just write a text and provide a link about a case study. Another time we try to explain about the value of information, you know, through a simple picture or like simplifying the decision tree. I don't know, there are so many ways of publishing different kind of content because if we publish always the same thing in the same style, I mean, after a while it becomes a bit boring. We should call to action. So for example, I went to check which are the highest uh, um, amount of engagement depending on the posts we published so far. And uh, apart that we received only two, I think from work, working group three, from Eleni and mm -hmm. another time. I mean, the others we basically <laughs> made from <laughs> Maria Pina or sometimes from us. Like for example, the ones that reached the highest uh, uh, engagements were the possible workshops with the pictures of the workshop, our the special sessions. The training school. The training school and the simple post of the map with the dots so yes. where all of you come from, for example. These were the, like the most clicked uh, posts because people are curious. If we write long text that it's very useful, maybe that those work better on LinkedIn also to explain the value of information in a more extensive way. But it's better just to provide few sentences. So it's actually, you don't need to invest so much time, like very few minutes to make uh, a post and to explain in simple word and also to think mobile in the sense that uh, most of the people will see the post through the mobile. So simple pictures, simple post, and everything uh, works better. Of course, uh, since we have two different social media platforms, I encourage you to make a slightly different post, or else uh, if you're not able to use two, like a too simple language to explain this value of information, you can make, make a post that is more suitable for LinkedIn, can be a more complex language attach or not, uh, I always suggest to attach at least one picture even for LinkedIn because it works better. But of course it's preferable to use different type of languages. But at least if you can provide one of the posts then we adapt it to the simpler version, for example, for, uh, for Facebook. 
but and also we can for example even um, uh, reshare content so if you don't want to make a post you don't have time to make a post but you find an interesting web page with an interesting content that is of course a high quality proven content like without publishing everything we are not sure about you can just forward us the link uh, or I mean and we can uh, share that content that can be of interest for the action members or can be of interest for the public in general that is following uh, uh, the page or the group. So what I suggest for, for the context, uh, as uh, I said, for Facebook uh, short-term scientific mission, I think the interviews are going to be published in a way that will be very interesting. The workshop, all the special session we do, like for example, when we are organizing and after the organization with the picture, with the results of the, etc. Uh, some pills for dummies uh, in the case of Facebook, so explaining in a very simple word uh, the value of information on structural monitoring, like we are explaining now to our grandmother. <laughs> and, uh, for li linking in uh, uh, also fact sheets and uh, like e e effectively the milestones of the action and uh, the different results we are achieving, uh, they can be useful and can be um, good for dissemination. But for example, the case studies can be very interesting in both the cases, like a picture with the case study or also, uh, a simple text describing how, I repeat uh, myself, how the structure uh, the value of structural monitoring is going to be applied or it is being applied to that case study in a simple way it can be um, also I think very appealing and uh, can uh, get people to know better about the real value of what uh, uh, is being done uh, in this action. This is a call to action especially for the people <laughs> of working group four um, for the members of working group four so just uh, I I think uh, you will need just 15 minutes uh, to uh, to make uh, uh, like 100, maximum 120 words post. Uh, it's too much already. 120 is like three, uh, three, three lines is already fine. Short title uh, with the pre presentation of the case study and the value of information how it's applied to the case study. And please add at least uh, photos. And then if you want, you can add more material, provide the link to the fact sheet, for example, that is already developed about the case study that is on the web page. But at least one picture, just, yeah. Uh, may I suggest that uh, this becomes part of your presentation tomorrow? So we have the uh, case study presentations uh, tomorrow. And uh, a part of the uh, case study presentation will be a short message uh, about your case study and uh, yeah. so that uh, we yeah, have some so material we can to, uh, to dissemination. Uh, uh, the, the idea of uh, making this part of the presentation tomorrow, uh, a post, uh, so I think this, uh, this would be Quite good uh, to have a clear message on the case study <laughs> so that it can be posted. And of course, everybody has uh, pictures for the case study. Yeah. If, if you want to make this present a little bit more likely, that may be a good idea. Yes. It uh, also helps to get to the point of the case study. Yeah. Um, yeah, thank you. And also, um, I mean, in this case, in the lab, I was giving we have 12 case studies, so it will be a great amount of information we will spread in the next week and publish it. Um, so, for those of you who have a Facebook or LinkedIn profile, even for the training school participants, if you want to go like the page of the cross section on, uh, on Facebook and uh, ask to join the LinkedIn group. For, and of sure, of course, like and share all the posts <laughs> that we publish. For those of you who don't have, I don't know, please spread information to all your friends and ask to join or like the groups if you want to, but at least it's important if you don't have these tools, it doesn't matter that you send us the material that we can use to publish and to disseminate uh, the action. So you can uh, send it to Maria Pina, me and, uh, and Simona, and then uh, we 
uh, after communication interaction with Sebastian, we, we can alterate a little bit or if you have some things that is necessary or else we post uh, your post uh, as it is. And uh, that's it. Within two weeks, so because I think it's, uh, I mean, now Sebastian said uh, tomorrow during the presentation, so it's fine, but uh, like. Uh, Okay, let's send that to later. Okay, so perfect. Thank you. <coughs>